school and potentially hundreds of victims. The students spent more than a year studying and they paid out thousands of dollars in an effort to get a nursing diploma. Tonight, they have nothing to show for it. International Nursing Education Consultants is located on Peachtree Industrial Boulevard in Norcross. Channel 2's Darren Lynn is there live where he talked to one victim. Monica, the victim went to this nursing school, which actually shut down last May. She filed a police report with Gwinnett County Police for theft and fraud. She wants to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. This is nothing but a scam. Jolices Mendez Barzaga feels I cheated. To, I am very, very angry and upset. She signed up for a course at International Nursing Education Consultants in Norcross and dished out $6,900 for classes to earn her licensed practical nursing diploma in order to be eligible to take the board of nursing exam. All I got was this diploma that is not real. She says the owner of the school, Wahid Oshangbaye, only gave her this photocopy of a diploma from Kingston, Jamaica. This diploma over here, it will do me no good because it says it's from another country. Mendez Barzaga says she is just one of possibly hundreds of students who paid Oshangboye thousands of dollars for these fake diplomas. She claims he targeted minority immigrants like herself because they were easy to manipulate. Private investigator Robin Martinelli tried serving Oshangboye papers regarding a $10,000 civil suit Wednesday night. This business center in Snellville is his last known address, and he was not there. He's changed his location of his schools, and some schools have shut down. He's changed the names of his businesses, and we're not really sure where he's at at this particular moment. Mendez Barzaga is now asking other possible victims to come forward. Report it. Report it, and don't let, don't let this happen to anybody else. The private investigator hired by the victim believes Oshangbaye may have opened a similar nursing school in Houston, Texas. If you believe you've been a victim, you're asked to call police and file a report. Reporting live from Norcross, Darren Lynn, Channel 2 Action News, Night Beat. And we have more details on what's next. The private investigator plans to file a formal complaint with Georgia's attorney general. She believes the owner is operating in other states, including Texas. And that's why this could turn into a federal investigation. There was an emotional outpouring tonight.